I, I remember Pat and I knew him and uh, uh, I would say he was a great person. Uh, and I mean, the way he dedicated himself to human rights and to people. And I, I always remember Pat uh, uh, with his file. I mean, those pictures of him coming out of Long Cash, the file under his arm. I remember Father Dennis Fall and I having a meeting in Clonard Hall at the time of the hunger strike when the others were on. And of course, Pat was sitting in the front row with his file, uh, almost in separated from his files because he was, he was intelligent and he could, he could sound the depths. And it was such a tragedy that a person, and you can see it's still happening today, a person whom the, uh, the, the state uh, looks upon as an enemy because they're good people, because they're prophets, because they are crusaders, uh, that they would go so far as to organize their murder, which they did, of course, in the case of Pat Finucane. And uh, I had the privilege, I think it was on the 14th anniversary of Pat's death, uh, I had the privilege of being asked by Geraldine to uh, say a Mass in Clonard. And uh, for that Mass, uh, I would say, I have to say you now with some, uh, well, humility, I am a poet. And I did write a poem, uh, which I recited at that, and it was called Pat Finucane's Files. And uh, I give a copy of that. I read it at the Communion Reflection, and I give a copy of that to uh, Geraldine. But I do feel, and very, very disappointed, but not surprised, that uh, the person like Cameron and Patterson went back on on what would, we would say uh, uh, Western Park Agreement and went back on their word. But they're only in a long line, a hundred two years of English uh, people who dominated and tried to rule in Ireland and didn't understand Ireland, didn't understand their people. And uh, I mean, the first huge disappointment I got was at the time of the Stalker report, because I met Stalker for about an hour and a half and some of his detectives and give them a lot of information, which they very much appreciated, etc. Uh, and uh, to think that I thought this will be a symbol, this will be an outward sign of the, all the hundreds of others who have suffered uh, and through the unjust killings and murder uh, on the part of the state. And this will show this. Uh, and what did they do? They spoiled. We haven't seen the stock of report. They pulled it in. And uh, it's the same now with this. One had thought, here goes. Uh, uh, the Fanukans held out because of the strength of their character and they wanted the full truth, etc. Uh, and uh, an indication one would thought was given. And I thought, after all these years, maybe here is the case where uh, symbolically, one big case will speak for all the rest uh, in the Finucane case. And they lived up to the reputation of uh, fear of justice and fear of truth. And uh, their names will go down. Pat Finucane's name will go down in Irish history as a hero and as a person who pursued uh, the rights of others and what they were entitled to. Uh, but uh, Cameron and Patterson, will, their names will be added to that long line of uh, oppressors uh, in the case of Ireland, who never understood Ireland and uh, were oppressors and tyrants and didn't allow uh, reconciliation uh, in humility and justice and truth. So Pat Finucane, of course, the campaign will be continued. I would be disappointed in the weakness of the Irish government, for they were full partners with the British government. And I wait and wait to see what Enda Kenny will do as Taoiseach. He, was, he is on the same level uh, being Taoiseach as Cameron as regards the Western Park Agreement. And when is he going to put on pressure? And when is he going to speak publicly? And when is he going to give his energy to the Finucane family? Uh, to open this up and finally, 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 even if it takes a lot of work, 
and uh, energy and even some years uh, to bring justice. But the silence of uh, the Taoiseach is deafening.